Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Hyper Antics server. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I am doing good. And I should say I'm doing well. That's the proper grammar. Anyway, we're looking off in this direction, not because there's anything interesting. It's because I want to hide some things from you. We've had some progress since the last time we were together. And what were we doing on that one? We were preparing the creative flight. So we've had some changes since then. You can see some in the window there. Take a look around. Do you see it? Do you see it? It should be obvious. Hopefully it is. The creative flight is still going very well. We've got these chorus plants, of course, flowers. I'm not sure what they're called, but yes, they are growing all around. And that's because we've been to the end. And that means we have actually defeated the end dragon and we are getting frames. Okay, there we go. And we're back. All right, so. I have been to the end. I did not defeat the Ender Dragon. That was the other peeps on the server. They went and took care of that on a time that, well, it just did not work out for me. So uh, we had to um, do that. What in the world was that? Clear item frame. Oh, interesting. I had a little mishap with my Zaboomerang or Kaboomerang. And this got blown off the thing here. Interesting. Interesting. Rex Bull Energy. This is from Bat and I believe Pudsy. Or they both have something to do with it. I don't know what it is. And I tend to be wary of items for consumption that are offered to me by strangers. Yes, they're on the server but I don't know if they have my best interest at heart. We'll have to see in the comments section down below. Anyway, I did not go to the end. The others did, and I don't have any footage to show you because I didn't, I wasn't able to do that. So anyway, we just have to be content with the fact that I've gone to the end. I've gotten some chorus plants and now I'm growing them. Awesome. Uh, the other thing is, I keep getting these ender lily seeds whenever I harvest, and so I've just been expanding that. Just getting an, an ender lily here and there. Let's go in and take a look at this thing. I did log in. It was a while ago, actually. This was for Thanksgiving. I have not recorded since before Thanksgiving. Yes, I do a lot of backlogging. Kind of past that now. We're going to talk about that some as we get into the rest of today's episode. But what I want to show you is what's going on here. There's a bunch of food items. We've got a roast chicken meal. Nice. A blueberry pie. Very good. Baked ham. Cottage pie. Hot dog. A 100% organic toothpick. Very good for after the roast chicken especially. Yeah, it can get stuck in your teeth. Cherry pie. Very good. Apple pie. Hmm. That is quite, quite the nice meal. I think, let's see if we've got room for it. No room there. No room there. No, the we're full up, ladies and gentlemen. We're full up. Hmm. We have to figure out a way or a place to put all this, but for now, we will just have to leave it right there in the middle of the kitchen. Yes. Anyway, today what we're going to be doing is working on. Uh, well, we're gonna go visit. The place that is, can you see it from, which way is it? Way out that way, Soaps Island. Yes, we're going to do an island. I found I found a cool one. We're not, I, I said last episode, we'd take a look at a few of them and kind of figure out which one we wanted. But I like, I like what I found there. And it's close enough to a place for Kondrick that I think we'll be able to have some good collabs. Okay, anyway. Also, I have rearranged around here. Got a bunch of modular storage. I've now put mob drops and various things. Well, that's not a mob drop there, but I, I didn't know where else to put it. And then up here is tools and armor and you know various bits from cyberware. Up here is building blocks, and down here is the ores. And so, so yeah, I need to break apart some of that. I'm kind of running low. See, gold we're having an issue with. What are we doing here? This is still going. I'm working on some 
dark steel. Not for the armor, but for reinforced obsidian. And I'm running into the same issue before. We've got RF stored in here, but I've logged off and I logged back in and it's not passing the RF from these capacitor banks down into my machines here. This is a problem. How about this? Is this thing doing any? Yeah, a little bit. It's not generating a lot. Uh, you win some, you lose some. Let's see about pulling that out. And let's grab that guy and put this down. And we'll throw some coal coke in there. Yeah, I think coal coke would be really good for that. And here we go. We've got a bunch of RF stored. It just it boggles my mind that the coal coke or the RF just is not working from my capacitor bank. Anyway, let's throw all that back in here and we'll put this coal generator down right like so. And I'm not going to burn any more coal on that since it's not working. All right. We're going to go off in search of that island. And before we do that, we're going to get things set up here at this home base to make sure we can teleport back and forth. And so to that end, I've got some stuff here we're going to grab. And it's another vibrant capacitor bank. Doesn't have any RF in it. Why do I have one of those actually? I don't know why. Is that a creeper? No, it was a skeleton or zombie. All right, so we're gonna come down here. We might get harassed by some zombies. There were some hanging out down here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to work on a teleportation. Now, we've got something called Flucraft in here. It's based off the flu network from Harry Potter. You can build a nice looking fireplace and then jump through it like that. But We've got a modern house up here and a fireplace just doesn't fit. And we're going to have a modern build off in that direction. And again, a fireplace like that doesn't fit. We're going to go for something more modern. So we're going to go to RF tools and we're going to use the teleporting uh, device available from that. So all of these things, all these machines that we have to build for the RF tools portion, are going to require machine frames, specifically 12, I believe. And then uh, we're just going to be putting these in like so. We're gonna need a couple of matter transmitters. Got that. We're gonna need a couple of matter receivers. Okay. And then we're going to need, uh, let's see, what do we got here? And dialing devices. And then we need a lot. It's probably way too many yeah, that's fine. We need a couple of destination analyzers. Okay, so that's all well and good. And then we come back over here, two of those destination analyzers we're going to put in here for matter boosters. So we got that. We only got one matter booster. So, okay, there we go. And then what we're going to do is come over to here. We need a machine chassis from Ender.io because we're going to be putting that into here for the next piece. You can see that we're going to need a soul binder for one of the recipes we have over here. Now, what I need to do for this, um, this RF tools teleportation, we have to generate some RF. RF tools, RF is kind of in the name. So we have to generate RF. The flu network or flu craft uses flu powder and it's not very automated. It's not very modern. So we're going to use uh, RF tools and the way we're going to be generating the RF is through solar panels and we're going to come over here this is the advanced photovoltaic cell we're going to grab three of those and then we're going to put those into our recipe right here and we're missing something right here what is that you might ask that is from solar panels we just updated to the latest version of Hyperantix is 1.08 C and it looks like there are some issues with JEI and responding to key presses especially. Let's go to solar and we're going to go to this top tier vibrant solar or photovoltaic cell. It needs an ender crystal and the ender crystal what you do 
If you have to use a soul binder, you mix a soul valve for an Enderman and a Vibrant Crystal, and Bob's your uncle, you've got your uh, that, that crystal that we need. So we need to come up here and maybe put the soul binder. Um, you know what? This, let's see if we can attach to here. That's grabbing some RF from probably that. And then we'll take this and this, use player XP, and now it's going to work. Oh no, it needs more RF. <sighs> I wish that vibrant capacitor bank was working, but it's not. It's okay. So this thing, uh, we're going to speed this up a bit and do that only got one vibrant capacitor bank we'll probably need to swipe one from here we'll see about stealing one of those that should help it uh, increase the energy storage but also make it a little bit more efficient how long is that going to take we're at 28 percent all right so while we're waiting for that, I don't think I'm going to try to build another vibrant capacitor bank on camera with you because it is rather annoying to say the least, uh, at least when you don't have a good good setup here. So um, maybe in the, in the time we're waiting, we can get our teleportation deal going. I will eventually move it into there but I think for now we'll put it no I keep getting problems there maybe go down one down in here no it'd be too confusing for people using it this is my new water mill area too I've done I've changed that up from the last time we were together but I did want to show you that um hmm well where where can we put this thing um, how about we just put it on the roof for now? I think that's as good a place as any. So we're going to need the uh, matter transmitter. So we're going to do that, put that there, and then we'll put matter receiver here, I guess. And then we'll put destination analyzer. That has to go next to the dialing device. So we'll do that, and we'll put the dialing device down. Um, hmm. What we need is to make sure that we get, maybe I should have started with the RF capacity first. Maybe, hmm. We will need a little bit of RF there, and then we'll put the solar panel on top of that. And then what we need is some energy conduit and energy conduit. Can we break that? Hmm. I know that the, well, let's see. This one does not require the dialing or destination analyzer does not need RF, but the dialing device might. Okay, yeah, that needs RF, and so does this, and this is the this is the receiver, right? We're gonna call that Soaps uh, Spawn House. Okay, and that's public. We'll just leave it like that, and then the transmitter here is Soaps Spawn House also. And then here in the dialing device, we can do that to that. Okay, that's good. Good, good, good. And then what we need potentially is to get a matter booster as well. And how are we going to do all that? The matter booster needs to be close to, um, close to the dialing device. Let's take a look in our RF Tools book here. This one? Yeah, let's take a look. 
and see what this has to allow about the teleporting system. Let's go in here. Matter booster. Passive block you can place next to a matter transmitter. Okay, that's easy enough. Does it take... Does it take RF? Does It does use more energy, but that's coming from the transmitter. Okay, and so that means we can just place the matter booster down right here. Okay, it's not the it's not the prettiest setup by any stretch of the imagination. And I just realized something. We're going to need another set of these photovoltaic cells. I'm going to have to do that off camera because we need octatic capacitors. Oh boy, that's going to be fun. So I need to build another one of those. Um, and I'll have to do that off camera. So let's move that to maybe right here. And then we'll put this photovoltaic cell right there. And that's going to be maybe, maybe moving RF. Okay, so this one is first on the line. So it's got to charge up all of this stuff before we can use it. That's fine. And you know what? That means that I am going to, well, I'm going to have some time to kill to uh, charge up all of those before I can actually use this whole setup and before we can actually go out there. So I am going to build another set of those or another photovoltaic cell here um, to take it with us and then I'm also going to build another vibrant capacitor bank to take it with us. Yeah. So I'm going to do that off camera because you've already seen the recipe and it, um, it's going to take me a little bit. So I will be back in a little bit and we will go uh, over to the new base area. All right, see you then. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look here in the inventory. I swiped one of the vibrant capacitor banks from down here. I did put it into the crafting window. You can do that and empty out everything. And then I was able to place that up here. And it looks like things are progressing as they should. So I don't know, maybe it just needs to be reset. Maybe the other one needs to be reset. That's fine, we'll just grab that later. We're going to eventually move this whole setup right here, down inside here when we move all these machines out. But for now, uh, we can't move them out because we don't have a home. Let's go to that home. And while we're doing that, we're going to have a little chat. This is going to be the future home, by the way. A few things I want to talk about. I tend to forget to talk about them, so I figure this is as good a time as any. Uh, let's see. First things first, remember every every 10 likes that we get on these Hyper Antics videos, I am going to open a Lucky Blocks on or over in the mining dimension, and I'm going to get stuck on that, that tree there. Anyway, let's keep progressing forward. Um, and then if we hit 50 views within the first week, we're going to get one of those 404 blocks going as well. They're supposed to be more dangerous. I found, you know, you saw it. They weren't as dangerous as I originally figured. And then another thing of note coming up. Um, it is now into the holiday season here in the United States of America. And really, you know, around the world, we share some of the same holidays as well. We recently had Thanksgiving. That was last week for me two weeks ago at the time you are seeing this video and this past week i went f straight from the thanksgiving holiday into none other than a business trip that's right a business trip this is where we're going to be setting up by the way you can fly around and that means that i did not have tons of time to record this one is kind of by the seat of my pants here for recording but we're going to get that done and and yeah so I 
I was not able to get some things recorded, but thankfully I had a bit of a backlog, and you've just seen that with the Creative Flight one uh, this past Friday for you. And that was actually, it's actually going to be tomorrow at the time I'm recording this, you know, timey-wimey stuff. And, um, and yeah, so with the overall um, holiday season and, you know, that, that stuff and, and things at work have also been a bit stressful in terms of, uh, you know, it's been requiring a bit more of my time lately, especially with coming down to at the end of the year, a lot of customers want to finish up various projects that they have in mind and that means that they are pushing to get things done and sometimes that requires a bit of help from the second level support team which that's me so or that's well it's not just me it's i'm i'm the head on that team and so it um uh, it requires a lot of my input and and that's just the way things go so Anyway, it's been rather busy, and you know, we're also coming to the end of the year. And at the end of the year, it's usually a good time to think about various changes you might be wanting to make in the coming new year. And I'm no different. I want to make some changes to the Soap the Great channel, and so we're going to be uh, preparing for that. One of the changes is how we're going to be delivering content. So this past year, you know that I have been um, doing roughly three videos a week. We've managed to do that fairly consistently, sometimes four, but I do believe I've hit at least four or three videos per week. And well, it's been it's been a fun challenge, but it has been a difficult challenge uh, to say the least and um, and so we are going to be saying yes it was good and yes we had a lot of success with it but I think um, let's see which one's this this is the transmitter out this is a transmitter okay and soaps home in okay so we got that um, next up destination analyzer dialing device put that here and we'll put the matter booster here and the destination analyzer here and we'll put some sort of a block or something I don't worry I don't know who knows who knows um, but we can definitely dial out now um, we're going to go soaps island out to Wait, which one did I do this? We're going to call this Soaps Island Inn. So this coming year, what we're going to be doing is changing up how content is delivered. And that is, um, we're going to be focusing on streaming. And some of you might be going, oh no, another one bites the dust. Yes, most, most everybody on this server has done some streaming. Some do it primarily. Some do... Uh, YouTube videos primarily and do some streaming and I think what we're going to be doing is going to more of a streaming uh, streaming setup now I can't say for sure that that's going to be the case but uh, it's something that we are going to be thinking about for the coming year and don't worry we are going to um, how's this going to work we'll do this dial and we're good okay so we can go please work please work yes all right got an achievement for it too so I think what we'll do here is change this to soaps spawn out and soaps spawn in there we go so we're going to be um, doing some streaming and we're going to um, mix it with content here on YouTube so don't don't worry we are gonna have both but I want to change up the focus a bit and get a little bit more immediate feedback on some of the things we're gonna be working on and, okay that was interesting 
But anyway, I'd, I'd say that our project today is a success. We can travel between here and there. So we'll be cleaning up between now and then. And we've not done too shabby. Not shabby at all. Well, um, let's see. What else? Anything else that I need to tell you? I think there, there's something nagging at the back of my mind to tell you. Um, that one just did something weird. No, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, you know what? I'm probably going to remember it as soon as I sign off for this episode. Uh, but I can't think of it at the moment. Oh, this is this is it. In in retooling for the coming year, uh, I'm going to be taking the last two to three weeks off in December. Um, so we're going to have one more, uh, or we're going to have this hyperantics episode. We're going to have one more this coming Friday if I can get stuff together for it over there on the new island we're going to be living on. Um, so we got a project in mind for that. And and um, what else? So we're going to do that. We'll probably have one more here uh, this coming week. And then we're going to close up for the year. And that way it's going to give me some time to really get ready for the new push in the new year. And I hope I hope you understand. I hope you understand. There's also, you know, some it's time to to sit back a bit, relax with the family, take some time off from work and get retooled for the coming year in home finances and, you know, get some stuff straight there and get just kind of close out the year. I, you know, I take, take a little bit of time every year to really get that settled. And we're going to be switching up some things for the coming year for that as well. So anyway, um, lots of changes coming, not, not all of them that you're going to be seeing, but uh, a decent amount that you will be seeing. And we want to make sure that we get enough time to think about everything that needs to be done for it. Uh, move around the desk, change up the the recording setup a bit, maybe get a green screen, so maybe a face cam or webcam thing for the streaming as well. Who knows? Who knows what the new year will bring, but certainly we need some time to really, you know, really think through it. And I don't want to just be trying to get videos out for this and also be dealing with that. And anyway... I hope you understand. Do let me know what you think about that and uh, what you think about the potential for the new streaming. But as always, I want to thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to share with me. It means a lot. I don't take it for granted. I know you could be spending your time doing other things. And so I want to say thank you very much for your time. If you enjoyed a like, it's always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on, on the channel. And there's a little bell right next to my name down below the video down there. Click on that and you'll make sure that you will get notified whenever videos come out. Sometimes the sub boxes don't always deliver the videos, but if you click on that notification bell, you can get them sent straight to your email inbox. So you will never be behind on one of these episodes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one and take care. Bye-bye.